So I just want to go through the principle of duality and pretty much what it is is consider S and T being statements that contain no logic connectives other than and and or. Now if S is logically equivalent to T then the dual of S is logically equivalent to the dual of T. And that brings us to our first substitution rule. Now suppose that P is a tautology. Now if little p is a primitive statement in P, so little p is a component of big P, then we can replace P with the same statement Q. Now this little q is pretty much the exact same statement as little p. And in this case, the new statement P1, because we replaced little p with little q, so then P is replaced by a new statement P1. That is also a tautology. So here's the example. So let P and Q be primitive statements. Now this big P is our tautology and uh, we know this because what this is, it's, it's the De Morgan's Law. And I distinctly remember that I told you guys to mem memorize the, the laws of logic in um, my last videos or one of my past videos. And here we're going back to it. So this is the Morgan's Law, and this compound statement, which is also a tautology. Now, when we're talking about the substitution rule, what really happens is we're just replacing uh, one of these variables by some other variable. So for example, P1, let's say that we want to replace, um, we're going to use our first substitution rule. And that first substitution rule replaces p, or little p, with r and s. So in this case, what really happens, let me just erase that, is we get the following statement, r, s, mm, no. So let's just get rid of this crap. This is a really bad program sometimes. So R and S, Q, uh, I think that was it, yeah. So this is pretty much the substitution rule in effect. All we did is we just replaced P with R and S because you could say that R and S, the, the fundamental components of R and S, pretty much is the same as P. So we could say that R and S, uh, they, them together, these two guys together, these two variables together, R and S, they build up a statement that is really the same or similar to P. So in this case, P1 is also a tautology because it's pretty much just derived from P. So if we extend this one step further, P2, and let's say we replace Q, uh, Q with, replace Q with T implies U. What will we get? Well, all we get is the following. We're still keeping R and S. Yes. And now Q is being replaced by T implies U. R and S. T implies U. Kind of stuff there, but that is uh, our second statement. This is the statement is extended from the P1 because we're just replacing Q with T implies U. And this T implies U statement, this com compound statement, pretty much it pretty much means or is the same or similar to to the primitive statement Q. So all these three uh, these three statements are tautologies because 
they're pretty much P1 and P2 are pretty much derived from P. So that's that. That shows you the how the first substitution rule works. And continuing on, um, I have this truth table for you. And let's say that uh, let's say that R S T U are any statements. So what we know here is we know that this statement is a tautology. So what we can do is let P equal R implies S and let Q equal uh, negated T or U. Now in this case, what we can do is using the first substitution rule, we can just replace P and Q with the following new tautology. And this new tautology is we're just substituting variables. Tautology. So it would be uh, R implies S and uh, R implies S implies negated T or U. That implies uh, negated T or u. So all we did here is we just substituted r implies s for p in this in this statement and negated t or u substituted this for q in that statement and we ended up with this new statement which is also a tautology. So that's all I want to teach you for today. This is a really simple first substitution rule. In the next uh, video, we're probably going to go through the second substitution rule. There are two substitution rules, and uh, yeah, that's all I want to go through today. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, uh, and I'll see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.